Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 32 of 2024, appointing an Assistant Undersecretary in the Ministry of Works, based on a proposal by the Minister of Works and following the approval of the Cabinet. Ahmed Sami Jawed Al Tajer shall be appointed as Assistant Undersecretary for Roads at the Ministry of Works. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 33 of 2024, ratifying the Kingali Amendment of 2016 to the Montreal Protocol and substances that deplete the ozone layer, based on proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. The Montreal Protocol on Substances that Deplete the Ozone Layer has been ratified as amended in the 20th meeting of the parties held in Kingali on October 10, 2016, in accordance with the text accompanying this decree. His Majesty also issued Decree 34 of 2024, appointing ambassadors at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, based on a proposal of the Minister of Foreign Affairs and following the approval of the Cabinet. The following shall be appointed ambassadors at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Khalil Yaqub al Kayat, Rashid Abdul Latif al Ziani, Dr. Muhammad Ali Bassad, and Ahmed Ibrahim Karanis. His Majesty also issued Decree 35 of 2024, appointing general directors at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, based on proposal of the Minister of Foreign Affairs and following the approval of the Cabinet. The following shall be appointed at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Abdullah bin Ali al Khalifa, Director General of Bilateral Relations and Fatima Abdullah al Dain, Director General of International Cooperation. His Majesty also issued Decree 36 of 2024, appointing an Assistant Undersecretary at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, based on a proposal of the Minister of Industry and Commerce, and following the approval of the Cabinet. Faisal Ahmed Mohamed Saleh Abdullah shall be appointed Assistant Undersecretary for the Commercial Registry and Companies at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 37 of 2024, amending Article 1 of Decree 22 of 2022 on organising the Ministry of Electricity and Water Affairs, based on proposal of the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, and following the approval of the Cabinet. Paragraph 2 of Article 1 of Decree 22 of 2022 on organising the Ministry of Electricity and Water Affairs shall be re repeated. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 38 of 2024, restructuring the Electricity and Water Authority, IWA, based on the proposal of the Ministry of Electricity and Water Affairs and following the approval of the Cabinet. The IWA shall be restructured as follows. The CEO of the authority responsible for, first, communication and directorate, second, a deputy CEO for resources and services at the rank of Assistant Undersecretary, responsible for, Directorate of Human Resources, Directorate of Procurement and Equipment, and Directorate of Public Services and Central Stores. Third, a Deputy CEO for Financial Affairs and the rank of Assistant Undersecretary, responsible for Directorate of Financial Planning and Directorate of Financial Operations. Fourth, Deputy Chief Executive for Subscriber Services and Digital Transformation and the rank of Assistant Undersecretary, responsible for Directorate of Client Services, Directorate of Collection and Billing, Directorate of Digital Infrastructure, and Directorate of Digital Solutions. Fifth, Deputy CEO for Electricity Affairs at the rank of Assistant Undersecretary, responsible for Directorate of Electricity Transmission, Directorate of Electricity Distribution, and Directorate of Electricity Planning and Projects. Sixth, Deputy CEO for Water Affairs at the rank of Assistant Undersecretary, responsible for Directorate of Water Transmission, Directorate of Water Distribution, and Directorate of Water Planning and Projects. Seventh, Deputy CEO for Electricity and Water Purchasing at the rank of Assistant Undersecretary, responsible for Directorate of Strategic Planning for Electricity and Water, and Directorate of Private Production Station Projects. Decree 39 of 2020 regulating the EUA is repealed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 24 of 2024 regarding appointments in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, based on a proposal by the Minister of Foreign Affairs. The following shall be appointed at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Salman Hassan Al Jalahma, Chief of America's Affairs. 
Said Abdul Khalik Said, a Chief of Coordination and Follow Up. Miriam Adil Al Manai, Chief of Communications. Rana Mohammed Hassan, Director of Information Systems. Hatem Abdul Hamid Sharif, Chief of Organizations. Munira Nufal Adosari, Chief of Asian and Pacific Affairs. Hassan Ibrahim Saleh, Director of Training and Languages. Ahmed Mohammed Al Hidi, Director of Studies and Evaluation. Nalizia Abdurrahman Abdurmalik, Director of Academic Affairs. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 25 of 2024, appointing a director at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, based on a proposal by the Minister of Industry and Commerce. Article 1 stipulates that Mohammed Khalid Mohammed Nur Abdullah should be appointed as Director of Industrial Areas at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth Sports, His, Ma His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the 2024 meeting of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, which was held at Al Wadi Palace in the presence of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Council Members. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the sports sector's achievements in 2023, during which it won 387 medals through the participation of national federations and clubs in regional and international championships as a result of the support of His Highness Sheikh Khalid to serve the sports movement in Bahrain and create a lively sports climate of high quality, competitive and efficiency. His Highness wished the GSA success in the programmes, initiatives and projects implemented to enhance the concept of sustainability for the Gold Generation. During the meeting, the SCYS approved the strategic plan for the sports sector, which addressed general policies, priorities and strategic objectives for the years 2024 to 2026. His Highness Sheikh Nasser directed the GSA to develop an executive plan and follow up on its implementation. The GSA reviewed the challenges and opportunities facing its work during the coming stages within the specified budget. His Highness Sheikh Nasser directed the GSA to study the 10-year plan with the Ministry of Finance and National Economy to keep pace with sports needs and be in line with the strategic plan reviewed by the GSA in the meeting. The General Secretariat of the SCYS presented details of the characteristics of the cycling and running track project in the Southern Governorate. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian and Working Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the crew members of the Anallaha programme, which is aired in Ramadan and produced by STC Bahrain, led by media content creator Umar Farouk. His Highness affirmed that the programme reflects the unity and cohesion of the Bahraini people and the keenness to help each other in different circumstances. أولا مبروك على البرنامج العظيم اللي اللي يعكس قيمنا ورسومنا وتكاتفنا وتلاحمنا كدولة كشعب متضامن متكاتف متماسك الله وهبنا هذه الدولة الغزيرة والعميقة بناسها وتاريخها الله حمانا من من هالبحار من كل صوب وخلانا يعني انتوارث هذه الجينات اللي هي عطتنا كل البصمات اللي بحقيقة ما تعني بكلمة البحريني احنا ناس ما نرضى على بعض ما نرضى على دولتنا وفي في وقت الرخاء الواحد ما ينحسب عليه لكن في وقت الشدة فعلا تلقى الخامات الطيبة وانتو اليوم في أبسط مثال تحطون هذه التجارب وتطلعون هذه الخامات اللي فعلا ما اتفاجئ انا ما اتفاجئ كثير يتفاعل ويتفاجئ وكثير يعني ينفعل مع رده فعل الناس وكيف انهم يتساعدون ويسعون للخير و... لكن انا الحقيقه ما اتفاجئ ابدا لان شعب مجرب عبر العصور والازمان 
His Highness affirmed that the programme enhances the unique Bahraini identity that is based on harmony and cohesion and affirmed his keenness to continuously support such creativity and innovation. His Highness praised the efforts exerted in the programme and the distinguished topics it introduced, which affirmed the capabilities of the Bahraini cadres in achieving noble goals. The programme achieved record numbers in terms of views and implemented 17 social experiments and succeeded in reaching 200 million views so far. The programme highlighted sensitive topics and allowed to hold discussions regarding various social experiments. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended a ceremony hosted by the Kuldun National School for its alumni, marking its 40th anniversary. Upon arrival, His Highness was welcomed by the school's Board of Trustees Chairman, Farouk Al Mouayed, the Board of Directors Chairperson, Farida Al Mouayed, the Board of Trustees members, and several former students. His Highness affirmed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's unwavering care for the education sector opened wider horizons for training and preparing qualified Bahraini competencies, who are capable of contributing effectively to ensuring a brighter future for the Kingdom. His Highness commended the interest of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in developing education according to a clearly defined methodology. He highlighted the school's continuous success in serving Bahraini youth and developing the capabilities as it hosts an elite group of experts who contributed to enhancing the capabilities of students using modern and innovative methods. His Highness appreciated the efforts made by the school's Board of Trustees and Board of Directors in supporting the administrative and teaching staff over the past four decades, congratulating the graduates for the successes and achievements. The school's president, Dr. Kamal Adil Noor, delivered a speech in which he expressed the school's community's gratitude and appreciation to His Highness for attending the ceremony. He asserted that His Highness's attendance reflects his keenness to meet the school's former students. He added that the former students celebrated the presence of His Highness, who is one of the school's most prominent graduates, and has attained honourable achievements that have contributed to raising the Bahraini flag at international gatherings. The royal speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa during the 32nd Arab Summit affirmed the support of Bahrain for every effort to achieve peace, stability and prosperity. More in this report. A comprehensive speech that carried the values of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its vision drawn up by His Majesty the King for the sake of the Arab world and its peoples delivered during the 32nd Arab Summit which was held last year, during which His Majesty the King affirmed Bahrain's support towards every effort to achieve peace, stability and prosperity. The contents of His Majesty's speech came to confirm that they fall within the visions of the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed the promising signs of a renewed and balanced regional system through solutions to Arab and regional issues. His Majesty also stressed that the ancient history, values, human resources, strategic location and the diverse natural resources are the foundations of the Arab world and added that achieving peace requires strengthening Arab integration. His Majesty stressed the importance of renewing strategic partnerships with allied and friendly countries, confronting terrorism and stopping wars and threats from weapons of mass destruction in order to achieve prosperity and a stable region in which the values of human coexistence and religious and civilizational rapprochement flourish. His Majesty always includes many different aspects in his royal speeches to convey the message of the Kingdom of Bahrain, not only to the Arab world, but the world as a whole.
The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, chaired the weekly meeting where the council approved a draft law on the approval of Bahrain joining the facilitation of International Maritime Navigation Agreement of 1965. The agreement aims to facilitate the maritime movement of ships by adopting a number of approved standards and controls. The Council also approved a draft law on regulating the labour market, which aims to setting specific controls for the cost of recruiting house workers. Within the framework of Bahrain's keenness to host health conferences and international scientific gatherings that aim to exchange experiences in the health sector, the C3 Summit at Davos of Healthcare Bahrain was held, with the participation of experts and practitioners in healthcare. The summit aims to enrich health knowledge, provide a supportive environment for healthcare workers and enhance the sustainability of the health system in the Kingdom. The summit sheds light on the provision of high quality health services to communities and will contribute to strengthening the global healthcare system. On the occasion, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, affirmed that Bahrain has taken pioneering steps in its comprehensive development process, especially in the health sector which continues to attain more achievements and projects. C3 has been actually in work since 2012, when we were founded by President Clinton, who helped us launch it. And we are very proud now that footprint is a global footprint that we've been able to extend into China, to the Middle East, and the US. And we are looking forward to being here in Bahrain because this is where it all started back in 2012, when we came here and we were invited to come and we have given the His Majesty, the King, a award for leadership and then we also gave the Crown Prince an award for his leadership during the whole COVID event. So we're very honored to have this kind of affiliation and this kind of collaboration with this country because together we can basically help provide solutions that will basically help mankind in terms of borderless disease. C3 is an old organization that's about 14 years old, have been having healthcare dialogues in the United States for the last 14 years. But this is the first time that they're bringing this uh, forum uh, to Bahrain. Uh, most of the speakers uh, are from the United States of America. Uh, there are people from Bahrain on the panels. Uh, and I'm pleased to say that there are over 500 registrants to this particular conference. The whole idea of this conference is to highlight at a global level what's happening in healthcare all around the world. Bahrain is in the forefront in transforming healthcare and this dialogue over the next two days will hopefully give us a deeper insight into how healthcare can be designed and delivered to the people of this region. The Minister of Education and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Higher Education Council, Dr Mohammed bin Mubarak Juma, inaugurated the Global Higher Education Exhibition at JEDEX 2024 in cooperation with the Higher Education Council and in the presence of officials, academics and diplomats. More than 100 exhibitors representing 70 educational institutions participated in the exhibition to present the latest developments in the use of technology in higher education and vocational guidance and inform participants of the developments in future jobs. The Minister of Education delivered a speech in which he expressed Bahrain's pride in hosting the second edition of the exhibition and thanked the local, regional and international higher education institutions for their keenness to participate. He added that the keenness to host this exhibition reflects the interest of Bahrain, led by His Majesty the King, with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to develop the education system. The Minister then distributed the JDEX Awards for Excellence in University Education and Awards for Excellence in School Education. Like event is uh, significant for students and parents for understanding one-stop solution for gathering information about the new technology and connecting with universities and campuses. So uh, they can meet many universities and uh, campuses all over the world in a one place itself and meet um, you know, career means professionals and uh, updated pro HR professionals for getting what is the ongoing status on the companies and understand the, what is the skill they have to improve. So this is very important for students.
it's important to be part of JEDEX. This is the second version of it uh, in Bahrain. This is very important for our students, whether they are now in the program registered or to be registering in the coming year or the, in September. It's important to play a role at that phase that we should be always prepared what is needed for the market. Not any kind of programs should be offered by the universities. What is really contemporary, what is really needed, what will make them seasoned candidates for the future jobs. And we try always through our counseling to stay in touch with our students that are studying in the programs and even our alumni. I think the events like this are extremely important to have in order to connect uh, the end users, which are the students, with higher education admissions. I think it's a very dynamic field where there's a lot of new trends, new information, and so I I think conferences like this allow people to get first-hand knowledge. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, a brief, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended the conclusion of the sixth edition of the Arabian Horse Organization, the AHO's, Breeders' Championship, organised by Brief, in cooperation with the organisation held in El Rafa. On the occasion, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah hailed His Highness Sheikh Nasser's patronage of the championship, affirming that it reflects his support to all sports events, particularly a Brief's activities, to achieve His Highness's aspirations of implementing the directives of His Majesty the King to support and preserve the heritage sports in order to develop them and support stud farms, stables and owners. His Highness Sheikh Isa noted AHO's prominent role, led by His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin Ahmed bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in supporting efforts to preserve purebred Arabian horses, expressing pride in the cooperation between Brief and AHO. His Highness hailed the wide participation of stud farms, stables and owners in this edition, the performance levels and the efforts of exhibitors, affirming that Brief is keen on holding these competitions to support breeders and enhance the kingdom's status as one of the best places with purebred Arabian horses in the world. His Highness congratulated the first place winners, wishing the other participants better luck in the upcoming championships and expressing appreciation for the support of the strategic partner Babco Energies and the official sponsors. The Ministry of Health launched intensive anti-mosquito campaigns in all governorates and took the necessary measures to eliminate breeding hotspots, especially after rainfall and the formation of stagnant water that contributes to the spread of mosquitoes. The Ministry of Health, in cooperation with the Ministry of Municipality Affairs and Agriculture and the Ministry of Works, was keen to intensify its campaigns. The Ministry of Health calls for concerted efforts between the various concerned parties, community partnership and everyone's cooperation to control mosquitoes and calling the hotline when facing any problem.
Export Bahrain and the Creative Business Network organised the first edition of the Bahrain Creative Business Cup 2024 in the presence of the Minister of Industry and Commerce and Chairman of the Export Bahrain, Abdullah Fakhru, in collaboration with Bahrain Development Bank and the Collective Hub. The event's strategic initiative to bolster Bahrain's standing on the global scale, encouraging startups to refine their offerings and meet and exceed internationally recognised standards. Alongside the competition, several panel discussions and award ceremonies in recognition of the participants' efforts were held. Mohammed Abdul Ahal from Silent Power won first place and became Bahrain's representative at the CBC Global Finals in Copenhagen, Denmark, June 2024. The Minister of Industry and Commerce praised the efforts of all the participants and congratulated Silent Power for the distinction. He expressed pride to have such talented entrepreneurs and forward thinkers in the nation. We are very happy that today we have uh, Export Bahrain has orchestrated uh, the first uh, Creative Business Cup Bahrain edition uh, in collaboration with the Business Creative Network and our strategic partners in Bahrain, Bahrain Development Bank and the Collective Hub, um, where we the main focus of the competition was to uh, shed light on the creative businesses and creative industries in specific. Um, we were very happy to witness the top five uh, startup businesses who who actually pitch their ideas um, you know in front of very capable and very experienced uh, jury members uh, we are very happy that you know we think that this strategic initiative will definitely bolster Bahrain's position in the global arena and also give the opportunity for our businesses to you know enhance and up their game when it comes to or their level when it comes to competing with their peers in international markets and the competition is focused more on creativity it's a gap that we have in the market and most of our, com our competitions are focused on the entrepreneur on the business uh, from an investment port, uh, uh, point of view, I think it's nice to also uh, start focusing on the creative part of it. We need more creative businesses in Bahrain. And we saw that a lot in the types of businesses that we're, we're pitching today. It was really difficult for us to select the winner. Um, all of them were, were creative. All of them were trying, trying, to, uh, trying to solve uh, problems that the, the, the community has with a very innovative and a creative way. His Highness Sheikh Nasser Centre for Research and Development in Artificial Intelligence obtained the ISO Certificate for Compliance with the Quality Standard in the Responsible Development of Artificial Intelligence Systems. On this occasion, the CEO of the NASA Vocational Training Centre, Dr Abdullah al Nuaimi, affirmed that this achievement demonstrates the centre's dedication to the process of developing responsible artificial intelligence to enhance the Kingdom's position in the fields of technological progress and artificial intelligence. The centre's executive advisor, Dr. Jasm Hadji, pointed out that this certificate represents the translation of the centre's endeavours to lead and encourage institutions to adopt ethical frameworks in artificial intelligence practices. With this new achievement, the centre is at the forefront of research and development institutions in artificial intelligence in the Middle East, enhancing confidence in the artificial intelligence technologies on a global scale and paving the way for adoption and integration of artificial intelligence solutions on a broader scale in various industries.